So, so thanks a million for joining me in the mat this morning. Sorry, I'm slightly delayed. It's the only time of the 12 days that my other yoga <laughs> is conflicting. Um, today is the second last day. So we finish up our 12 days tomorrow. So well done guys for keeping our lit. I'm well impressed. I think if I wasn't teaching it, I would have found it quite hard to come to the mat religiously for the last 12 days. So well done. We're going to get straight into it. So I was actually working on hips with um, my previous class and I'm going to continue and work into that. It's a lovely way of just releasing into our body. So we're going to start in a nice, easy cross-legged seat. So coming onto your mat, coming onto the floor, whatever you have. And then we're just going to try to get into that comfortable seat. So if the hips are quite tight, we're going to find the knees are right up right near the ears. A nice little bit of cushioning pillows, whatever it is, to take that pressure out of the knees. And then we can just allow those hips all open a wee bit more. We're going to place the hands on the knees and see if we can press a little gently into those knees, bring ourselves a little bit taller. We're going to draw the chest forward, sink the shoulders back, and then slightly lean forward from that lower back. Try to keep a nice little bit of length in the spine here. And then from here, we're going to draw the belly button in and see if we can sit back a little bit taller again. So again, we're going to try to keep that nice strength in the core as we work into those hips. Open the palms and then inhale the arms out. Reaching up, interlock fingers, press palms to ceiling. As we exhale, press the palms forward, release and let it go. We'll do that two more times. Nice big stretch as we inhale, take the gaze up. And as we exhale, press forward and release. Last one here, try to draw those arms right back in line with the ears, really engaging those shoulders. And then exhale, release. Lovely. We're going to come straight into those hips this morning. So we're going to bring the soles of the feet together. We can take a nice shallow diamond here. Again, if we have a towel or a strap or a jumper or whatever we have at hand, we're going to wrap it around the outer blades of those feet. Holding on to either end, we're going to tuck the elbows in toward the side waist. And then we might gently shimmy the heels toward the sit bones or maybe shimmy the sit bones toward the heels. So we're trying to make that little diamond shape a little bit shallower, working that space a little bit smaller between the heels and the hips. From here, again, we're going to sit tall, hugging those elbows in. And without putting any pressure on those inner thighs with the arms, we're going to see if we can press those knees down toward the ground, just using our own hips. We're going to inhale, sit tall. And as we exhale, gently lean forward. So again, keep drawing the shoulders back. So we're trying not to round into that upper back here. Keep the spine long as we inhale. And as we exhale, lean a little bit more and see if we can press the soles of the feet together and work those knees down toward the ground a little bit more. We're going to pause here for three. For two. And one, and then gently release and let it go. Lovely. We're going to place the towel down beside us. We're going to slowly come to lie on our mats, lying back onto the ground. Knees are bent, feet are flat. We're going to hug the right knee in. We're going to extend that left foot fully out. Press away through the left heel. Draw the toes toward the face and keep that left leg nice and active. The left hand can rest on the hip. Right hand is on the knee, and we're going to start to draw a few little circles into that right hip, really slowly. Try to keep the lower back and hips pressed into the ground here. So we're nice and stable in the hips. We're going to bring the fingertips to rest on the knee, bringing those circles a little bit larger. Again, it doesn't matter what direction, we're going to do both. So just trying to get a nice smooth circular moment. And then if we feel stable enough, we're going to bring that right hand to the ground beside us and make those circles really large. So we're going to hug the knee into the body, Extend out, press away through the heel, draw the knee across the body. So again, try to incorporate the full length of that right leg into the movement. Really active here, exaggerate the movement, slow the movement right down. So we're looking for a large circle, smooth, trying to iron out any little niggles within the hip, and then we're going to reverse those circles. So as we draw the leg across the body into the chest, we should feel a nice sort of release into the gluteal hip also. So again, a lovely way of just mobilizing into those hips without putting any pressure on the joint. So particularly if you're maybe recovering from injury or if the hips are particularly tight and the stretch just feels like too much, 
these mobilizations can be really, really magic. And again, the more we do of them, the more we're going to actually be engaged in those muscles, you'll eventually feel those muscles fatigue, so you know they're working. The last big circle. Excellent. And then we're going to hug that right knee into the chest. Give it a nice little squeeze. We're going to bend the left knee, place the foot flat onto the ground, and then we're going to rest that right ankle just above the left knee coming into our figure four. Again, pressing that right knee away from the body, we're going to draw the right toe toward the knee. And then we're going to inhale, lift the left foot off the ground, shin parallel to the ceiling. Options here to either interlock the hands behind the back of the hamstring. If we've a tile or a strap, we can always wrap it around the back of the hamstring, allowing us to draw those shoulder blades together and connect the full length of the spine to the ground. Or if we want to go a little bit deeper, if we're already quite spacious this morning, we can bend the left knee, allow the heel drop toward the bone and interlock the fingers in front of that left shin. We're just going to hold it here for a few breaths. Again, not forcing it. Keep working that right toe toward the knee. So we shouldn't be feeling this in the right knee joint, keeping that lower leg active. Every inhale, thinking about opening the heart, lengthening the spine. Every exhale, working that left knee a little bit closer toward the body as we work that right knee away. Relax the breath in and out through the nose. Try to really engage with that exhale, pressing every last little bit of stale air and energy out of the body. One more breath here. And then slowly release the left foot down. We're going to bring that right foot back to the ground and then we're going to hug the left knee in. Extend that right foot fully out along the mat. Press away through the heel, draw the toes toward the face. Right hand rests on the hip left hand on that left knee and we'll start with a few nice little circles into that left hip and again just notice how it feels straight away we're going to bring the fingertips to rest on the knee again we'll do both directions keep pressing that lower back into the ground so we're keeping that lower back stable as we work into those hips if that feels good we're going to take that left hand to the ground beside us and incorporate a full length of that left leg into the movement. So we're pressing away through the heel, lengthening the leg, drawing the knee across the body, into the chest. Slow it right down. And again, noticing how it feels compared to the other side. So it's really only through these slower movements that we can truly touch in to what's going on, particularly with those hips. Noticing the little pops and clunks and clicks. <laughs> And again, it's generally normal unless they're accompanied by jagged pain or numbness. There's a lot of stuff going on in those hips. So again, don't get too caught up with those little noises. We're going to reverse those circles. Nice and full, nice smooth movement. And even notice is it easier in one direction than the other. So these are the little clues that our body might give us. And again, if we listen to them, we're a lot less likely to, to be hurt ourselves, injure ourselves. It's not just about mobilizing, it's about strengthening into those joints. Using that movement. The last one, nice big circle. Excellent. And then we're going to hold that left knee and give it a nice little squeeze into the chest. We're going to bend the right knee, place the foot flat onto the ground. We're going to rest that left ankle just above the right knee, coming into our figure four on the other side. Draw the toe toward the knee, press the left knee away from the body. Again, really pressing that lower back into the ground. Keep that connection. Again, stay here, or if you wish to join me, we're going to inhale, lift the right foot off the ground, shin parallel to the ceiling. We're going to interlock the hands behind the back of the hamstring, or if we find we're coming off the lower back or crunching into the chest, we can always wrap our tail or strap or pillowcase or whatever we have around the back of that hamstring. So again, we're working the right knee toward the face and working that left knee away. If we know we're already quite spacious in the hips this morning, we can always bend the right knee, allow the heel drop, and then interlock those hands across the front of the right shin. Only if we already feel quite released. Okay, so it's important that we don't go too deep unless we already have that release. So you can go shoulders back as we inhale and as we exhale, work a little bit deeper. Relax the breath. Keep that left foot nice and active. The right foot relaxed. Just 
Last breath here. Excellent. We're going to rest the right foot down, bring the left foot down to meet it. And then we're going to hold both knees in toward the chest. Hands stay on the shins. We're going to inhale, press shins into hands. And as we exhale, work those knees outside the line of the body, working into a little relaxed, happy baby here. We can stay here, keeping that lower back connected to the ground. If we want to go a little bit more, we're going to bring the soles of the feet parallel to the ceiling and either hold on to calf shins, ankles, inner arches of the feet, or maybe interlock the middle and index finger around the big toes. As we inhale, we're going to press soles of the feet toward the ceiling. And as we exhale, we're going to draw the knees down toward the ground beside us. Again, if the hips are already quite open, we'll find those elbows come inside the knees, so you can use them as an extra little prop. If we find we've caught hold of the toes, but we're rocking and rolling on that lower back, bring those hands a little bit closer back toward the knees until we can really stabilize that lower back. Every inhale activating, every exhale releasing. One more breath here. Slowly, we're going to hug those knees in, crisscross of the ankles, make your way anyway to seat that you wish. If you want to join me, we're going to rock and roll forward and back along the mat and meet in a nice comfortable seat at the front of our mats. From here, we're going to come straight on to hands and knees into a nice little tabletop. Shoulders over, elbows over wrists, elbow creases face forward, pressing those hands into the ground. We're going to draw the chest forward, sink the shoulders back. As we exhale, press the ground away, curl through the spine, looking back toward the belly. Inhale, gaze goes forward and up, arching the spine. Exhale, press into the ground, curl through the spine, take the gaze back toward the belly. One more here, just mobilizing that spine, getting a wee bit into the hips. And then we're gonna meet back in the tabletop. From here, we're gonna step the right foot forward. Okay, so we're not going to do our flow here, just right into our right foot forward. And we're going to place that left knee back a little bit. I want you to try to keep that right knee stacked over the ankle if you can, just working that left foot back, feeling that release into the front of the left hip and into the right hip and hamstring. From here, we're going to inhale both arms out, reaching up, palms together. Exhale, hands to heart. Interlock fingers, place them just above the right knee. We're going to inhale, press those hands into the leg. And as we exhale, sink those hips toward the ground. So just feel that lovely release into those hips. We're going to pause here for three, for two, and one. Bring the hands back toward the ground. Options here. So we can either come on to the ball of that left foot, lift off the knee and pause, or we can keep that foot untucked, going a wee bit deeper, press the front of the left foot into the ground, lift the knee off the ground. We're going to pause here for three, for two, and one, and release, lovely. From here, we're going to step that right knee back to meet left, back into our tabletop, realign. And when you're ready, we come straight over to the other side. So again, bringing that left foot forward, into our lunge again stepping back that right knee as far back as you start to feel a nice little stretch into the front of that right hip trying to keep that left knee stacked over the ankle if we can and then gently inhale arms out reaching up palms together exhale hands to heart interlock fingers place them just above the left knee we're going to inhale press hands into leg and as we exhale, sink those hips. Two more breaths here. Last one. Lovely, bring those hands back down to the ground. So we've options here. We can either tuck the toe under, come off the knee and hold, or we can press the front of that right foot into the ground activating the front of the leg as we press the foot into the ground lift the knee off the ground we're going to hold it here for three hands are planted or around your fingertips for two and one gently release lovely we're going to step that left foot back to meet right into our tabletop from here we're going to bring the knees nice and wide bring the toes to touch and gently sit back toward the heels pressing the ground away as we go into a nice wide-legged child's pose 
resting the forehead down toward the ground. Just enjoy that release through the spine, through the shoulders, the arms. Press the ground away a little bit more, draw those sit bones back. And then maybe make a little pillow by piling one hand on top of the other. Gently rocking the hips side to side, easing out any last little bit of tension. And then coming to stillness here. And just take a moment, noticing where you're at on the mat. Where's the breath at? Where's the mind at? Where's the body at? And just let them all catch up with each other. Take a moment. And when you're ready, we're going to gently press the hands into the ground, tuck the chin into the chest. So we walk those hands back toward the body as we come to sit back up onto the heels. And then from here, we're going to come right back into our easy cross leg and just see how those hips feel compared to 15 minutes ago. So again, when we're working into the hips, we don't want to go too deep too soon. So with 15 minutes, we're kind of only touching the surface. So again, if you want to get a little bit more, feel free to come back into some of those juicier poses. We're going to open the palms to the ceiling, sit nice and tall, nice and strong. And when you're ready, we let the arms out, reaching up. Interlock fingers, press palms to the ceiling as we exhale, press the palms forward, release the breath, sigh it out and let it go. We do that two more times. Last one. Lovely, and then slowly bring the hands to heart, press the palms together, close down the eyes. And just thank yourselves for creating a wee bit of space in your day to come to the mat to look after yourselves to create some lovely energy and lovely awareness and hopefully bring that with you into the day ahead. And thank you for sharing your practice with me. Namaste.